James Story with Rain 6, Holiday Utah, firearm training and firearm sales company. Exclusive dealer for Arsenal Firearms. We sell Strike Ones and of course, the mother of this, which what is this? Why do you need two uh, 1911 magazines? So that's going to be together. the new CCW well, crate, right? Say yeah. again? That's going to be the new CCW crate. This is the new CCW. This is the new duty pistol, right? <laughs> yeah, so yeah. here's what the mag looks like. Here's what the mother ship looks like. We have a double barrel 1911. Created in 2011 by Arsenal Firearms as a tribute to the iconic 1911, right? Italian guy, grew up watching spaghetti westerns, really into all the wars, well studied guy, but also an engineer. He teams up with a, a Russian friend of his and they create this, uh, really it's a, it's a work of art, but uh, fundamentally and practically, a lot of safari club guys are buying this to take downrange to Africa for you know big game hunting, dangerous game hunting, water buffalo. This is like the type of backup gun that they're using. Other than that, it's just a feat of engineering. So we have two barrels guaranteed to shoot two inch groups for both rounds at 15 yards, okay? We have obviously a double Magazine. mag insert here. Triggers that are welded together, all right? So that's a one piece trigger, but it looks like two triggers. So in the side, inside, they are welded together. You pull one trigger, two rounds goes off all the time. You can shoot it with one round, in it, but it wouldn't have enough energy to um, cycle, okay? Everything else is just like a 1911 here. What you will notice right now is there's a double hammer that's welded together, okay? And just your normal type of um, safety here. Mag release, so on and so forth. You're going to expect to have about 40% more felt recoil than the standard 1911. Okay. Because of the weight, it was a lot more than your standard 1911. Sure. Maybe 50% for you because there's only two rounds in there. Okay. Usually that extra weight in those magazines will give you a, a little hand. Right? All right, all right. So I'm going to lock this to the rear and hand it to you, and you can grab that mag and get up there and take a shot, okay? Sounds fine. All right. Okay, we got the double barrel 1911. Again, he gave some practical uses for this thing. Um, in my opinion, this is pretty much a because we can type of a gun. <laughs> so let's put three rounds through it and uh, see how it feels. That slid in there a little carefully because those are welded together at the bottom, but not at the top, so they can pinch. So you got to kind of feed it in there a little carefully. Come count. Hey. All right. Oh, you want to shoot this? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the left side of Jeff. That is not bad at all. Not too bad. Honestly, that's totally manageable for yeah, like one or two shots. Oh, for sure. Well, you know, we have we have video of the CEO shooting eight rounds, two 30 grains each out of each mag, so 16 in like 1.9 seconds. Okay. It's like pop, 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 so and it's a target's like seven yards away and he's got holes all throughout it. So with a little bit of practice, you can actually do, hey, if you had to break into like the collector's cabinet to defend your home, <laughs> grab that. I think you'll ruin someone's though. day, you know, it's with 460 grains. All your controls are in the same place for the 1911, which means your mag release is right there. I did notice that as I reached over to, to break my grip to eject that magazine, I had to break it all the way, pretty much come all the way over to here in order to get that to eject. But once you do, it works the same way. And here's what I was talking about before. Those two magazines will pinch together like that. If you're storing them somewhere in a belt or something like that, they will kind of come together and you have to separate them again in order to get them into that well. Because you can see how there's a divider there. So you have to separate those magazines and then kind of carefully feed them in. It works, but it's one of those sort of battery things that you gotta get used to how it works. Anyway, there's the slide release. Oh man. And it only weighs four ounces. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the comedy club. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about the magazine. About right. I was talking about the magazine. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. So who's the maker of this thing? Arsenal Firearms. Okay. Arsenal Firearms. Not to be confused with Arsenal that does AK-47s. Completely different company. Arsenal Firearms has been around for probably about three years now. Four, four years actually. 2011 is when they got their business license to do business in the U.S. ATF finally approved them to start shipping their guns to the U.S. Uh, last November was the very first shipment, end of November 2014. 
Right. And uh, if you've been to SHOT Show for years, every time you go up and down the escalators in the front, there'd be a huge 40 by 60 poster of this gun. So yeah. people have been waiting for a while. So it's finally here, America. Get your hands on one. Call rank six. Only, uh, only $600, right? Yes, 600 plus 5,000. So oh, this got is 5,600. 5,600 wow. $5, is all. So, not bad at all. For the, not bad at all. And there's a lot of different versions coming out there. So Once you can again, get them as high as if you want to spend 28 grand. You can do that too. Comes with the ostrich holster, case, wow. display, extra mags. You know, shoulder holster. Yeah. Comes with the whole case. Wow. Once again, it does have some practical applications, some rare practical applications. Well said. But in many ways, this is much, very much a because we can kind of gun. Yeah. And uh, that's always cool. Thanks for watching. What is sort of the theory behind?